Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. The question is brass or zinc leather stripping and the quantity of nails that you would need to order. Yes, I can help you with that. Right. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm, I'm ordering zinc leather stripping for doors. I'm getting 36 inch length. Um, uh, the 21ZN, and then I'm getting four of those, and 16AZ, 80 inches, getting six of those, and then one 7ZN, 80 inches. So I, one of them says, you know, you can say um, option required when you order the 16AZs, but I don't get a, a zinc nail option when I order the other product, so I was thinking maybe I should order some extra nails. I, I just don't know how many nails. What would be a part get. number of one that you don't get that option? Um, the Z, uh, I'm sorry, 7ZN80. Oh, from Legacy, that's why. Aha, okay. Um, Hey, and I'm well, happy not to get Legacy. That's just the only stuff I could find that seemed to look like what I... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's fine. When I was thinking a different manufacturer, and I'm like, wait a minute. I think all of those are available. I guess he's great. Yeah, you're Dorbin, get... yeah Dor Dorbin has the uh, flanges that I want, but they don't seem to have the stuff that goes over my threshold or this kind of interlocking. Uh, I'm hoping that the Dorbin 16AZ will actually fit into the Legacy 7ZN, but... I don't really know. So, okay. So let's let's answer the original question. Okay. <laughs> if you were to call Dorbin and ask them for the center to center of the nails, they would tell you inch and a half. If you right. were to speak to a journeyman carpenter who's installed thousands of feet of this material, he would say that's way too close. So mm -hmm. what I have found is three-inch center is what I would suggest people buy nails for, and then take your lineal footage, right. divide that by three, divide that by 65, and that's how many ounces you would order. So, you know, um, lineal footage divided by three, yep. that will get you center to center in an inch to divide that by 65, because that's roughly how many nails are in an ounce, and that's how many ounces you would order. You could type in the site Dorbin Nail, and you'll be presented with two options, zinc and copper. So now you know right. how many ounces to order. Okay. Now well, the so, like, No, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, because it actually says select zinc, zinc, zinc nails option required, is what I said. Yeah. But I don't know how many come with that. Is that an ounce per strip, or is yeah. that... So what's going to happen is with Dorbin is when you buy that, when you add that, it's going to be one ounce. Yep. It's going to be 65 nails. So you've got to order that Dorbin material, some uh, with and some some required and some not required. To get it in order to get the total line. Uh, I got it. Okay. And so now that you don't have all these nails laying around that you can never use. Right, right, right. Yeah, I just didn't know how many, when it said required, I didn't know how many ounces that was. So that was yeah. that was the biggest confusion. All right, perfect. Yeah. Um so the legacy stuff will include nails. Um, oh. So when you order that, you're going to get nails for that. But, you know, I ha have extra nails. Who's the nails? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So so I guess my question, since I have you, maybe you know, is that I, my front door um, is, a, is two doors, and um, it had existing – Metal weatherstripping, metal, metal weather stripping, which my painter destroyed. So we're getting new stuff. Um, the way it is is <clears throat> the Dorbin 16AZ is that angled piece. Is the door that's closing? There's a receiving strip on the fixed door that's closed, and that looks like the um, Legacy NZ. Oh, I'm sorry, 7ZN. Ooh, these numbers. Um, kind of like a uh, J 
um, receptacle for, for it and it closes and it holds it there. And I'm hoping that just by looking at these sizes that the Dorvin would fit into that legacy on the other door, but I don't really know. Is that just a crazy question or should I just order it and find out? Uh, no to both. Um, so you want two nested hooks. So I wouldn't mix and match at all. I don't know that it would be a win or a fail. I, I would have to conclude it's not the right thing to do. But have you seen okay. the M3Z and M4Z from Dorbin? The M3Z. When you I type in it. M3Z, it's going to come up as a set, and then it's just seg segregated by lengths. So, so <clears throat> I see that. The problem is, is the door has been already um, um, routered Mortis. for the uh, yeah mortise for the L shaped bracket to come out. So the door, the handle that opens and closes, has that L shape for the uh, 16AZ. Um, would that fit into the? I'm not sure which is which with the M3Z or M4Z. So try the M1Z now. That's two okay. J hooks that are nested. M one. So look at the there it fifth is. item yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fifth item. Let me go back. Um, Dorbin M one Z and M two Z twelve inch. Uh, yes, exactly. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, but the, um, the, the, but it's, it's still two straight ones. It's not an L bracket one. Uh, do you want to take the, the, um, interlocking L shaped and then have that nest into one of the J hooks? That's what I would, that's what it is currently is what we have. Okay. Um, well, I would think the, I would stick with the, uh, M2Z in that case. It's a larger, it's a larger unit. Um, and that would probably be, you know, far, um, well, we're going to have to know that inside mouth opening of that. Now, what's the, let me look at my cut. So we're talking 16 I'm AZ. Gonna, I'm going to run over to the door and just take a quick look on this one. See if I could put a straight one on it, even though it's more more mortise in it. I guess I could mount a straight one on it. The 16AZ would fit into the mouth of the 32 of, of the M2Z. Um, the 16AZ would fit into the mouth of the m 2Z. Yeah, so you could take the 16AZ and nest that into the M2Z. And for that matter, I'm I'm pretty sure it would work with the Legacy as well. Yeah, um, M2Z, M2Z. When come you, in pairs? Well, when you search M2Z, you've got to go to page two because then it's just the M2Z isolated from the M1Z. I see. Okay. M2Z, there it is. And it would be 80 inches, which is there in the locking. I oh, see it. yeah. Yep. The nail option isn't there. I've got to fix that. Yeah. And then that's um, three-quarter. I got it. You know, I could look and see if I could fit in the other one just to see if – um. Yeah, because yeah, cause the way I, – I mean, I don't – this is – 60 year old house, so I don't know how they built it originally, but it, it looked like they had the um, 16 AZ and it was nested in one of these curved little units here, the t um, M2Z. So I can give that a shot. Or alternately, I can measure and see if I can just pull out the. the actually, I, the, the, the 16 AZ we have is broken, so I, I need to replace that. I could just replace that with an M1Z and an M2Z if, if it'll fit in the part that's mortised out, that's the, that's the problem, right? But I can measure that and see. Right. Um, so oh, that's a great solution. Perfect. M1Z and then M2Z. 
Um, and then I'll just figure out nails. Now this, this won't come with nails, right? Yeah. So you'll, you'll have, so when you type in Dorbin nail, um, you know, the, the zinc nails will, God, it's no good. Yeah, it's no good. Um, if you have, if you have an item that you need to have that select nail option added to, let me know so I can do that because I see that when they sell the nails separately, they're about double the cost, more than double the yeah, cost. Yeah, they're double the cost. Right, right, yeah. right. So let us let me know mm -hmm. one you're looking at, and I'll get that nail, that attribute added, you know, in just moments um, so that, you know, you're you're doing it the correct well, way. Well, I can, I can tell you the two I'm looking at right now. It's the 80-inch, okay. um, um, Dorman M2Z 80-inch, and then the one that has both of them. Which would be? Let me go back. M one Z M two Z. Yeah, and the M one okay, Z so M two Z eighty inch. Yeah, right. Yeah, that that one's got the nail option. So let me give me a moment. One Z eighty inch. And my, my door is like seventy five and a half inches. I'm assuming eighty inches is kind of perfect fit. Just trim it to fit. Oh yeah, definitely correct. And then, and then, um, how how long does it take when I place an order to receive all of this stuff? Uh, generally, about two weeks. No, two weeks. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, you guys. Have, uh, you know, I had no idea what even interlocking metal leather stripping was when I. And you guys had a great site. I, I was looking all around, but you guys had like just. It was really good to organize my, figure it all out. It took a while, but I. It really, I was trying a couple of other sites, but your site was really nice, so. Well, it's not easy. Business. I mean, right. this, this, I know. Make, <laughs> this is literally 19th century technology, and yeah, so um, Dorbin has been making this material since the 1930s, it would be my guess. Um, Legacy is a name not, is not a name associated with Interlock, except that there was a purchase or some sort of deal between Legacy who used to be Zero, which is a name a, a name in, weather, in the weather stripping world, but Legacy purchased the assets or the catalog of Accurate. Accurate's been making this stuff since the 19th century. So mm -hmm. in my website, if you wanted to take a trip back in time, you could look, you know, type in Accurate, and Accurate Metal Weather Strip, I think, is it? It's the catalog is there, and I've got one from the mid from mid century as well. When I, your house was I, built, I've got I a catalog. A couple of those. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> and we did a job for I think um, Alabama, and um, they were building a new dorm building, and it needed to be modern, but it had to match the one they built in 1890. Guess what? They were locking weather yeah. stripping everywhere. Yeah. So right. There you right. Go. So so I had seen on your site that Dorbin is like double the price of everything else. Is, Dorbin's super expensive. Yeah, it's it, the bottom line is. Is the, there? A, is there another thing I should be looking for besides Dorbin, or is this my only choice at this point for these type of? Yeah, you can cert if you need just a small quantity. I wouldn't put the extra work into it. Legacy okay. ought to have a fairly comprehensive offering and will be less expensive. Dorbin thinks that their product, Dorbin is the son of the owner, died about five, ten years ago. The manager that they have, who's not family, changed the way that they approach market with how they price stuff. And that results in a product that is exceptionally hyper expensive compared to other things. And they are leveraging the fact that getting interlock is hard and there's not a lot of people who do it. Um, yep. Or, or they're being leveraged. I don't know, but someone's, someone's. You know, someone's, it, it, yeah. it it went up double digits every year for the last five or ten years. It, yeah. Every year it yeah. went up. So, it's either them or someone or something. Um, yeah. uh, you know, I, I mentioned that there does, because it is. Yeah. Does Dorman does Dorman have um, the threshold hooks? Yeah, well, yeah, you mean a J hook. That's the 32Z, uh, 32Z. Um, wait a minute. Is that Is it 32Z? I think I, uh, it's, yeah, it's 32Z. And when that page comes up, go to page three if you need like a three foot length. Three. That's, that's the J hook 
for a threshold, oh, for an interlock threshold. Yeah, I'm looking for 36, so let's see, 36. Oh yeah, double the price, look at that. Yeah, yeah. I do like the Dorvin version. I can't speak about the legacy version, but I like that hip that it has um, when you nail it to the bottom of the door because that will help uh, prevent the head of your nail from encroaching into the space. Hmm. Other people have that little jog down. Exactly. Other people, literally, it looks like the letter J on its side. This is, there's more to this. I like this design better. Yeah, actually, Plus, I looked at the legacy one. It looked like that had that too. I, yeah, because I was just going to get one of just the regular J, J ones. I'm like, no, I need something different for the, for the threshold. So, okay, yeah. got it. All well, right. Awesome. I hope yep. it works out. Just Thank when you, you take the door Thanks. off and you know, in five years when you go to paint it, don't rest the door down. Because people call yeah. me and say, my door doesn't work anymore. Well, what happened? We took it off to paint it. I says, reach down. And is there a piece of metal nailed there? Oh, my gosh. I never knew it was there. <laughs> so, my you, my um my painters not only took it off, they, they bent so many of them. Then they put new hinges on the doors. And because the hinges were too large to fit where the it was, they cut all the weather stripping out. I'm like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> so, and I, oh, actually, you may know this. Um, I, my, what we did is grind. We we had four inch hinges, but they were too wide, so they were going into the area where the where the weather stripping was. So we ground them down. We cut we cut them to be shorter because the three inch was a little small for the door. Do they make thin hinges specifically well, for this? Is it is it a four inch tall hinge? Yeah, you can order four by three, four by three and a half, and four by four. From you guys or from anyone? What were you saying? Oh well, I can't speak about other people. I can sell you a four by three and a half. It's a it's a it's a it's a common hinge that people do time to time. I see an order for four by three and a halves because four by four is just too wide. Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. Uh, hinges. Let me do a search for them. Black. Uh, they can be ordered in black. Let me give you a part number. Four X. Okay, so here's your part number in that search box. Okay. Yep. C as in Charlie. Four mm -hmm. four zero. Then hit enter or click go. One second, I don't want to lose the last page here. Okay. C. C four forty. Four four zero. Hit here, enter. Okay, I'm there. It'll be the it'll be the only hinge on the page. Yep, I see it, Stanley. They're made to order. Uh, because of that size, it's probably going to be about four weeks before they would come in. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. Um, perfect. Okay, so this is the four by three and a half. Okay. And, yeah, I yep. said earlier that four by three can be done. It's not listed, um, so I'm going to retract three inch wide being available. I, it may be on special order, but it's not in the catalog. I was too hasty. Got it. No problem. No problem. I'll go measure to be sure exactly what I need. Um, it's 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 width when the hinge is open, correct? Is it a size? That's correct. The yeah. hinge is height first and then width laid open in front of you. Yep. Perfect. All right. You are awesome. You're totally helping me out here for my old house. So thank you very much. I grew up in an old Put house. And I, I know what it's like. So awesome. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Take care. And to you, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.